All right, guys, so I am in my car. I finally got a mount for my car and I'm really happy about it, but I'm not at the same time because I just spent $30 on this thing. But in the same breath, I've been buying like the $10 ones and then they break like a week later. So I guess it's like, uh, you know, does it really matter that I spent $30 on this one? Cause I'm not gonna have to buy another one because this one has a lifetime warranty. Like, <laughs> yo, let's, can we move out of the way? Like, can we move? Like the parking lot is not a place for you to just chill and figure out your life goals. Anyway, so, um, I don't know what I wanna talk about with um, this little vloggy vlog that I got going on right now. Well, I am feeling very inspired. I've trying to been I've been trying to post very frequently. I've been trying to work on my editing skills, um, and I, I feel like I've been getting better. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I don't know. I've just been feeling really inspired, and I feel like when I start feeling like that, I need to take advantage of it and just do every idea that comes into my head. So everything that I'm like oh my god I want to do this I want to do that I want to record this makeup look you know I want to do x y and z I think I need to just start don't second guess myself and just do it like Tiff don't worry about x y and z just do it just put out the best you can and go from there um, because I love to see growth in myself and other people and businesses and everything I love to see growth and I love to see how things you know how they first started and they put their all into whatever it is it was at the beginning or all they had in the beginning and then they grew into whatever so i'm like if i could watch that in my own self you know a few years down the line that'll be so great i'll feel so happy you know to watch it i've had like a few makeup ideas in my head that i want to just get out but it's just like i don't know like i just been feeling like i just been feeling really really inspired and i have a perfectionist mindset so I don't want to put anything out unless it's absolutely perfect. Like I want to put it out only if I can see it the same way I see it in my head, like in front of me, like, and, but, and it's like, that's good to have that kind of mindset, but it's bad at the same time because it can, it can stifle your growth. It can keep you from, you know, doing better. You know, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't allow yourself to fail, you'll never grow. Failure is one of those things where it's really hard to kind of grasp because it's inevitable, right? And we've always been taught, or at least I know I've always been taught, to put forth my best effort so that I don't fail. You know, we always, we've always been taught like, do X, Y, and Z so that you don't fail, so that you don't have to do it again, so that you, you know, you just succeed automatically through and through. But it's like some things in life you're gonna fail at and you're, you need to fail in order to truly learn um, and I'm learning that more as I'm getting into my like adult years like adult adult years I'm not in college anymore and I'm just an adult like I'm just a regular old adult out here people expect me to pay bills and stuff like it's crazy but <laughs> it's it's crazy because it's like my whole life I was brought up on that like you know, you need to do your best so that you don't fail, so that you don't have to do it again, so that you could just bust it out and be good and be bomb, like, you know, and you don't have to do it anymore, like, you know what I mean? Like, so everything could just be a breeze. Like my whole life, my grandparents taught me that, my mom, my dad not so much, but just pretty much everybody, every adult in my life has been telling me that for years and it's like, now that I'm getting older and I'm failing at things that I want to try and I'm failing at things that I thought I would be able to do with the breeze and and it's like whoa like it's, it's taking a hit on my confidence but it's like you have to be able to fail and fail wholeheartedly like like you can't say oh I'm growing if you didn't even put your all into it to begin with you know what I mean like you can't say, you can't put 30% in and fail and be like, okay, I'll try again next time thinking that you're growing. You're only gonna grow if you put 100% in the first time, fail, learn from your mistakes, and then go in again with the same 100%. You cannot put in 20%, 30%, 60%, 80%. It has to be 100% in order for you to say, okay, I failed this time, I'm gonna get better next time, I'm gonna grow again next time. And it takes a lot of time. And I spoke about this in my last TikTok where it was like, 
you know, you can't compare yourself to other people because it's like you might watch somebody else fail at something and then the second try they get it and it's like, boom, I won. And you might not get it until the fourth time or the sixth time or whatever, but it's okay because at the end of the day, you got it. So just let me know what you think about this video like down below. But yeah, I'm just gonna kind of test it out with this one and just see what happens. But yeah, just let me know. <laughs> I feel so weird. Like, I feel like people are looking at me like, girl, are you talking to yourself? But just let me know how you like it or whatever. And I will keep doing them for you guys. <laughs> if you like them, I'll keep doing them. If you don't, I'll keep doing them. <laughs> if you hate them, I'm going to keep doing them. <laughs> Oh, <gasps>